I couldn't make out half of what the king was saying, but it sounds like you've got your work cut out for you. Good thing you won't be facing it alone. In fact, I think I've got a lead on finding an old friend of ours. Old Felmerus Hughes, of course. If anybody can help, it's bound to be the gnome who brought you back to life. I've been asking around and I was able to make contact with his superior. He thinks he might be able to help find Hughes. No, he's a crafty one. If he got away from those assassins in the lab, like you said, I'm sure he found some place new to hide out. And if anyone's likely to know where he'd go to find safe haven, it'd be the Templar who sponsored his work. His name's Octien. Go southeast to the Hollowlands. Templar Octien will be waiting there to discuss how you might find Hughes. You're not the only one on the hunt for Hughes. Octien has followed his trail to the Hollowlands in Detir. You'll want to talk to him. Who would have thought you were so interesting? Death seems to have worked out very well for you. Agarth's looking for escape, Neuralem's looking for a savior, and Tatarian is looking for a champion, and somehow, you're giving everyone what they want. I'm impressed. You're right. This won't be easy. The two Arthur have our forces under siege at Mel Senshir, and their power has only grown over the years. You'll need more help than just me and that old fate weaver. You'll need an army. A few years ago, one warrior could have slipped past unnoticed. But stealth is no longer an option. Not even for me. But there is hope. In the plains of Erethel there waits a player who has been away from this game for far too long. It is time to contact General Talera. Meet me in the village of Emer, and I will tell you everything. Be on your way. She bested Thrang in combat fair, Finian cycles kept. The exploits of this maiden's role, a burdensome and heavy toll. She lived among the mortal clans and bargained with their kind. Throughout the town they stood in fear of the brilliant fighter. Near.
Is it? Another day, another day in these wastes. You! You are my contact! I should have known. Punctuality is not one of your people's strengths. And you have so few. You may recall our mutual friend, former Hughes. The gnome who brought you back to life? I suspect you would. But I gather you've been quite busy. Well, Scholar Hughes has been missing since the attack on his tower. As his patron, I am quite concerned. I want you to find him. You are, how shall I say, uniquely suited to the task. I could ask the same question. For all I know, Formerous Hughes is on the run from you. I am willing to assume that's not the case. Simply put, you may be my only chance of locating Hughes, just as I may be yours. It would seem the incident in Alistar made Scholar Hughes a touch uh, paranoid. Every time we receive a clue about his location, he vanishes before I can reach him. But he's running out of places to hide. It's my opinion that there's one hope left to finding Hughes. You. And I am grateful 
Scholar Hughes is quite fortunate to have friends like us. Hughes has an old laboratory in the cavern of Saltwell Mines. I believe he's been conducting research there since the destruction of Alistar Tower. Find him, and you will be rewarded for your contribution to science. I will await your success in the Lavrarium in Edessa. He may have returned to his old laboratory in Saltwell Mines. But if any of my people approach, he'll flee. He's quite paranoid, for good reason.
Have I been down here so long? Is the madness so great that I see the faces of the damned before me? Or, or is it really you? It is! By the tomb! Come closer. Let me look at you. It has been an eternity since I've seen a trusted face. Are you? In many ways, your awakening has brought me nothing but misery. But that is not your fault. I am to blame for all of it. Wait. Do you hear that sound? It could be the Sons of Laz, but it could be someone else. The last we spoke, it was the Tuatha that reduced my lab to cinders. Now it's assassins. Everywhere I go, destruction follows. I have grown so weary of it, my friend. All I ever wanted was to unlock death's secrets, to shed light on the shadows. I never wanted this. Thank you. For more than just your protection. For being the one good thing to come of this disaster. I have few friends, but I gladly count you among them. You must be mistaken. I've tried to contact him ever since I fled Alistar, but he never replied. Until now. Octien. Of course. When all the facts are considered, the truth will emerge. Ah, oh, I am a fool! Octien has sent you to search for me. To have us killed together. Those assassins are proof of this. The Well of Souls is his project. Once it was functioning, he no longer needed me. Not if he could salvage the well in Alistar with Ventrinio's help. No, not me. But Ventrinio's old note suggests that he may know a way into Alabastra. I wonder, perhaps, is it possible that you have met Ventrinio already? That would explain it. You were attuned to his well, but raised from mine. Unfortunately, the only way to find Ventrinio is to go through Templar Octien, which will not be easy now that we know of his treachery. Octien is a powerful sorcerer with tremendous influence. If you attacked him outright, you would lose all credibility. We must play his game. The only one capable of dealing with Octien in Odessa will be another Templar. Luckily, we have one. Her name is Templar Joriel, and she is reputed for her wisdom and strength of character. She and Octien rarely see eye to eye on matters of policy. If Joriel can make Octien answer for his crimes, then we will gain access to his information. That includes the location of Entrinio's lab. If you wish to uncover the mystery of your death, then you will need Ventrinio. He is the key to Alabastra. Find Templar Joriel in Edessa. We don't have much evidence, but I have a feeling she will help us. Oh, don't call it that. You're just having a talk with Octien in the library. In return for your discretion, he'll give us what we want. I know it's unpleasant, but when you work with the Templars, you just start thinking this way. It helps you stay alive. 